Hi YouTube, um, I was just wanting to make a video today to kind of give you a, um, a versus type of situation where you kind of want to, if you want, if you're trying to figure out what kind of a barrel lens you're wanting for your, uh, for your telescope, um, I've got two different ones that are extremely popular and kind of give you, because I've, I've actually, I've used them both, there's the, um, the Teleview Barlow lens, it's a double, it's a two times multiplier, and I also have the Teleview 5X PowerMate and basically what I want to go over with you is some of the pros and the cons of these um, that might make you decide one over the other and also depending on what kind of a, a telescope that you have um, this might help you based on what I have and what I've seen it with um, it might help you make your decision um, and a kind of a review on both of them just to kind of give you the ups and downs on both so first of all I want to go over the um, the Barlow, the 2X Barlow. Um, this is actually the first one that I got. Um, I, I got the 2X Barlow before I got the 5X. And I have to say that the image quality, um, when using this, there's absolutely nothing different. Like, it, when I say nothing different, I mean, as in, like, there's no, there, from what I could see, there was absolutely no light, um, it was no, there was no dim, dimming, um, in the, um, in the picture, so um, this was actually very, very good when it comes to the picture. Um, absolutely, 100% crystal clear. Um, same as if you were to not have it on at all. So I will say that this is definitely um, the 2x uh, bottle lens is actually extremely, extremely good from Teleview. And um, I also wanted to kind of just say that when it comes to price, uh, especially for what you're getting. Uh, this is a very, very, very good piece. Um, what, I guess if you want to do like a versus situation where you're trying to decide which one you want, um, price-wise, this is 125. Or yeah, this is 125. The the uh, 2x Barlow and the PowerMate 5x is 215. Um, now for the 2x. Basically, I would say that you would probably want to at least start with this, so you can see how things go with your um, with your particular telescope. Um, if if this is giving you at all um, a dimming in your picture, I don't know what you know, whatever kind of a aperture lens or whatever kind of an aperture you have for your telescope. If you have a, um, I have an eight inch, I have a uh, a Jamel Z8 uh, eight inch and. Um, the aperture was fine for that, and from what I can tell from all the reviews online, um, nobody's ever had any issues with that. Um, so that's definitely, a, a, I don't know if anything less than an 8 inch would be um, too much, um, but you definitely, if you have an 8 inch or higher, it's definitely a good, a good uh, choice. Now I do want to go over the 5X, the PowerMate as well. Um, you kind of, with this one, there's a couple of, really good things about it and a couple of really downsides to it. Um, first of all, the good side is obviously it multiplies it by five. So it's a really, really, really good close picture. Um, so you're going to have a really, really high magnification. Now, the downside to this, if you have a Dobsonian uh, telescope, is that because it's such a strong magnification, you do not, with a Dobsonian, well, I'm, I'm making a general statement here when I say if you have a Dobsonian. If you have a telescope that does not have a motor on it that stays aligned with whatever it is that you're looking at, then this is going to be kind of frustrating to you at least at first until you get the hang of it. Um, because with it being that powerful, what you're looking at is going by wicked quick. Like... I couldn't even show anybody what Saturn looked like through this because by the time I got away from the telescope and they got in front of it, it was gone. I would say it was probably about a three or a four second time period that it was actually in view. So that's one downside to it. Um, but again, the good side is that it is extremely powerful. Now, extremely powerful doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be happy with the picture, though. Um, the With this particular one, though, with the 5X... Um, PowerMate, it definitely does keep the image quality there. Um, compared to the 2X, um, there's definitely 
there's definitely some dimming, but even with an 8 inch aperture, it was still not enough to make me upset, I guess I'll say. Um, I was looking at Saturn, and it is definitely, I could see, you know, with an 8 inch uh, aperture, I could see the rings around it, I could see detail on the actual planet, um, and like I said, it, it just it just doesn't stay in view very long because I don't have a motor on mine to make it stay with the planet. But like I said, dim wise, it will dim a little bit compared to your 2x. Um, but it's definitely still keeping the quality of the picture very very good. So basically, I just want to say like like I said, um, this one, the 2x, the the Teleview 2x, is absolutely perfect. I don't have anything bad to say about it at all. The 5x. I really don't have anything bad to say about it at all either, except if you don't have a telescope that has a motor on it, then you might be, you might be um, not doing so well. You might get kind of frustrated with it. But if you like to be able to see that really good crisp uh, picture um, from real close up, uh, for at least the you know the five seconds that you have with it, um, very very happy with it. Extremely happy with it. Um, I feel like I just made my telescope. Um, an amateur telescope from an amateur telescope to a uh, professional. I mean, I know obviously there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that you can do to um, make it even better. But I'm just saying uh, these these definitely make the amateur telescope um, feel a lot more expensive. <laughs> so that's kind of my review on these guys. Um, if you have any questions about them, um, I got a couple of links in the description that's gonna kind of give you. Uh, a link to where you can get them, um, where I kind of think is better. Obviously, Amazon is a great site, so um, if you have any questions for me, though, feel free to shoot me a question, and um, I'll be happy to answer. All right.